that's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April, shot down in May. But I know I'm gonna change that tune when I'm back on top, back on top in June. I messed up big time. First contest of the year was out at Borrego Springs. So if you're not familiar with competition aerobatics, there are different categories based on the type of airplane you fly or the skill level that you're at and what your plane is capable of. I was flying advanced. This is my second advanced contest. So I've been practicing for months to get ready for the contest. First flight, first flight went okay. It was the known flight. The known flight is a sequence the known flight is a sequence that's given out beginning of the year. Everybody goes out and practices it. Everybody has to fly it. That one went okay. I scored 78.3%. It put me a percent off the lead. It was like, okay, back in the box. Everything feels good. We're all good. The second flight is known as the free. The free is a flight that I come up with. I try and maximize the capabilities of my airplane and I put figures in there that I like to fly or that I score well on. So I should know it really well. I flew the same free last year, it's the same one this year, but I messed up. I got the first hard zero I've ever got in competition and it was really dumb. You get a hard zero if you fly a sequence completely wrong. You can get deducted down based on stuff not being perfect in an actual figure, but a hard zero is you fly it wrong. Let me explain. It's my little airplane. So, figure one of my free, how I start out. I start out low in the box, it comes screaming in. It starts with two rolls, followed by a half loop up. Then I do what's called three of two, where I go one, another half roll, another half roll, and then I do one and a half snap rolls, ending inverted, the same direction, the same direction. I have it written. So those notations mean same direction. They're both pointing the same direction on the top. Me, I don't know what I was thinking. I had been practicing it wrong all week and I didn't catch it. I did the double roll, looped up, and I rolled left, one, two, three, then I snap rolled one and a half, opposite direction. It sounds minuscule, but that is my highest K figure, which means it's the most difficult figure, it is worth the most points, and I got a zero on it. Now, I didn't know I zeroed it. I got done with the flight, I landed, I thought everything was okay, no big deal. I went out, I started assisting judging for the next flight, and all of a sudden the scores came out. And I couldn't believe what I did. I was devastated. I, I can't believe, because it was something so dumb. I even had it written on my sequence card incorrectly. I wrote left rotation for one, right for another. I had been practicing it all week and never caught it. That drive home was the most devastating drive I've had in a really, really long time. I couldn't believe that I did something so stupid. So because it was such a high scoring figure, it, it took me pretty much out of any chance of trying to podium, let alone win the contest. So I just kind of sucked it up, went home, and got ready for the last flight. Now, the last flight of a competition is known as the unknown flight. So they give you a sequence card on Friday, and then you have to fly it on Saturday. You don't get to practice, you just have to look at it, be able to determine, okay, where do I want to put these specific figures inside the aerobatic box, the altitudes, the speeds, stuff like that you have to come up with. So I focused on that. I ended up coming back the next day for the last flight and I won the last flight. Kind of made me feel a little bit better, but still just absolutely devastated because it's something that I've been working for months on trying to get better at, trying to make sure that, you know, I was flying really well and to make a mistake on something so stupid, so simple, you know, I didn't even know I messed up. You know, normally it's not like I, I turned and went the wrong direction or, or something like that. Like, it was something that I had been practicing and going into it, like I did what I thought was right and it was just heartbreaking. I think the worst part is 
the Arabatic community is very, you know, it's, it's very tight. Everybody seems to know everybody. And especially in competition, most people know the people who are flying their categories. And having to get all the messages from people that were like, what the f happened? You know, and I had to like explain that I was dumb and made a stupid mistake and oh, it was heart wrenching. Now, that being said, there were a lot of positives that I got from the contest. One of the biggest things is a couple judges reached out to me afterwards and they said, hey, consistently you're flying positive up and negative down. And what that means is if this is perfectly vertical, this would be positive, this would be negative. So consistently I was positive up is what they were saying. And then when I come back down, I was negative on the way down. So I think there's an issue with my sighting device. There's no excuse, I made it. So I think, you know, I, I thought it was pretty accurate, but I had been told that it was off before and then I thought I corrected it. I don't think I corrected it. Luckily, one of my buddies sent me a video and it showed and sure as shit, every time I'm going up, it looks like I'm super positive and then when I do whatever and I'm coming down, I'm super negative. So today what I'm gonna do, before I fly again, before I go back to practice, I'm going to jack the tail up, get it planed out, find exactly the angle of incidence on the wing to the fuselage, and I'm gonna try and line the sighting device up perfect so I have no excuses moving forward. Then maybe we'll fly afterwards, but that's the plan for today. So, we're gonna get to it. All right, we're gonna go up a little higher. Also, uh, thank you, Shane Short, for the, the cool sweater thing. Um, it's probably gonna get super dirty, sorry, in advance, but thank you, it's super cool. We are almost there. So, here's the problem. I got this perfectly level. That one says it's perfectly straight. But I think I'm lining it up wrong because it just doesn't look straight. Basically, the judging takes place off the wing. It's the lift vector of the wing. I think it's what they call it. It's basically where the wing's flying because obviously the angle of incidence on other airplanes is very different. So technically it's supposed to be off the wing. And I thought this would be the closest to it, but now I'm doubting it. All right, so I got the plane planed out and now I'm just making modifications to the existing sighting device that I made. So I'm just gonna change it like five degrees and then we'll have somebody go watch and see if it looks good. So that's what we're doing. All right, I overshot it slightly. Oh yeah. There's just a little gap and I can adjust it while it's on. That was an unexpected engineering win. Oh yeah. Everybody that I've talked to said, line it up with the laundry on right here. And I had that and I've had consistently people telling me that I'm positive and it could be me, but I adjusted it about five, six degrees. It looks more planed out to me. Like this looks planed out. So the only way to really test is now, uh, you need somebody on the ground. I don't know if I'm gonna have anybody on the ground today, so I'll probably just go fly. But we'll see, we'll see how it flies. We'll see if it flies any different, all right. Of the Alright, so honestly, short of looking back at footage, so it felt closer when I was doing vertical rolls, multiple of them, it felt like it was a little bit easier to keep it from swaying too much, but that could also be a trim thing and an elevator thing. So the real truth is I won't know until I have somebody on the ground watching 
and it's probably better to have multiple people on the ground so you can get like a multiple feedback from people. But I don't know, that's the next plan. But feels good to be back, feels good to make another video and uh, I'll see you guys later, all right.